stories are a pathetic joke. And for everyone who asked me out there, are we going to have any of these people involved? Let's make a big tent. No. We only want the best and the brightest. Trump is going to win. Get it together. Get your head on straight. And none of those people, those fake Republicans, rhinos, I'll throw the RNC in there with that. All these people have to go. They're not going to be part of our team. They suck. We're not going to reward them. They're traitorous. They're disloyal. And they're unqualified. So that's it. I've had enough with all those people. I know who I'd like in there. Let's get Bannon back in and Cash Patel and Mike Davis and Rick Rennell and Alina Hava and let's kick some ass. <laughs> that was Kimberly Guilfoyle, Don Jr.'s fiance or girlfriend, saying that Anyone who is a primary opponent of Donald Trump in the Republican primaries or anyone who is currently supporting one of Donald Trump's primary opponents is a rhino. They suck. They are traitorous. They are disloyal and they are unqualified. Those are the words of MAGA about anyone who doesn't go full on MAGA cult. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network, and notice they also include the Republican National Committee, the RNC run by Ronna McDaniel, as a traitor. They just throw around the words, traitorous, you suck, you're disloyal. She said you suck. What are you, like a third grade petulant wannabe bully? I mean, what in the world are you even talking about? And that is one of the main MAGA influencers in this cult that is MAGA. It is the Trump family members, a la Saddam Hussein, Uday and Kuse. You've got Don Jr., you've got Eric, you've got... The whole kind of MAGA-verse with the girlfriends and the and the wives and, and all of that, they're the ones who now speak at the Republican conventions and things like this. And this should be everything that we're against here in the United States. And it's just embarrassing. Here's Kimberly Guilfoyle saying that Hunter Biden should have been charged in 2019 or 2020, but you see... The DOJ was protecting Hunter Biden in 2019 and 2020. Play the clip. Why are these charges only being brought now? I think there's some backstory on this. Because they're so straightforward, there was no reason for this delay. They were protecting him. They could have been brought in 2019 or 2020, but we know the DOJ was protecting Biden. All right, Kimberly Gargill Foyle. Let me get this straight right now. So... Here's the plot. The Donald Trump, Bill Barr, DOJ, they're traitors, they're treasonous, and they wanted to try to cover up for Hunter Biden. Trump's DOJ was Team Biden. Now, under uh, the Biden administration, the Department of Justice is uh, has indicted Hunter Biden. But now you're saying the reason that they've done that is to cover up as well for the traitorous, treasonous Trump DOJ. There is no depth to the depravity of these deranged conspiracies that are spewed. They make no sense at all because they are liars, liars, liars. Here, Kimberly Guilfoyle, though, just gets to the heart of it, the hypocrisy, because this is what the MAGA Republicans want to be talking about. Drugs, hookers, escorts, girlfriends, and sex club memberships. Here, play this clip. Drugs, hookers, escorts, girlfriends, and even a sex club membership. And by the way, when Hunter Biden was a drug addict, when Hunter Biden was at his lowest of the lows, now in 2023, heading into 2024, you want to shove that in his face and be what? The, the morality police of what Hunter Biden, how he should have been behaving when he was a drug addict. The bottom line is that Hunter Biden was charged with tax-related crimes that nobody has ever really been charged with because he paid back his taxes with penalties in 2021. This is almost always 
handled as a civil matter, not a criminal matter. And just think about Giuliani with back taxes, Roger Stone. Yeah, here's Roger Stone right here with one of the other big MAGA influencers, Fergaccio Blow, the MAGA rapper who raps about killing women and raps about all this horrific and heinous things. But that's what y'all want to talk about. Here, play this clip of Kimberly Guilfoyle right here. Play it again. Drugs, hookers, escorts, girlfriends, and even a sex club membership. Again, just horrific. So utterly disgusting that that was she doing. And here she is interviewing Greg Stooby Dooby Doo, the MAGA Republican Congress member. And here they are just from the other day saying that re the, the, the issue is they don't want to have a public hearing involving Hunter Biden because then all of the committee people would only get five minutes to ask questions. First off, Hunter Biden, when he agreed to testify before the House Oversight Committee under penalty of perjury, Hunter Biden said that he would do it with no conditions. He never said five minutes. I mean, why wouldn't the response from MAGA Republicans be, okay, we could have you in the committee here and we're gonna go 12 hours. We'll ask you all of the questions. Then if Hunter Biden said, no, I don't wanna do that. I only am demanding five minutes each. Then you could have a conversation, but no, your first instinct was that you don't want to have any of these questions at all. Um, let me play you this clip right now of Greg Stubbe. Here, play the clip. Hunter Biden's lawyers say he'll only testify publicly. What's your assessment as to whether or not this testimony should be public or behind closed doors? Just curious. Okay, so there's a strategy with his lawyers for doing that. He wants to have it in a public hearing because then each member only gets five minutes to ask questions. And these closed doors depositions, they could go on for eight hours and you can walk along uh, strategic questioning on different subject matters because our staff and members can also participate in that. But our staff has prepared, just like you would do in a court deposition, of asking a series of questions. And it could take hours to get through, let's say Burisma and the email traffic that went back and forth that we released today. And oh, hey, what was your dad on Robin Where's Gmail account asking you on X date? You can walk through all of that. The reason why they want to say, want to have a public hearing is each member of Congress is only limited to five minutes. They want to dodge the questions. To get through that. They yeah. want to minimize the amount of time that he's in front of yep. each and uh, one of you um, and dodge the questions and not have unfettered access to him with no time limits. I get it. It's a legal strategy. It's they're, they're trying to play hide the ball as usual. These are not honest people. And this reminds me, though, of what these MAGA Republicans are saying throughout, though. Everything is a conspiracy. Everything is an op. And it's an op from within. Like, here's one of the main MAGA Republican influencers, Charlie Kirk, saying that he thinks the RNC's chair, Ronna McDaniel, that she's a plant by the Democrats to destroy Donald Trump. Here, play this clip. You're a loser, a professional Romney infiltrating loser. Is there any difference now between the RNC and the DNC? I have a real question. Is Ronna McRomney there to make sure we lose in 2024? I am telling President Trump privately and publicly, he better remove her. Does Ronna Romney want Donald Trump in prison? That's a really interesting question. Is she an up? And I, I really think she's an infiltration at this point. I think she is an infiltration. And here is uh, the wife of Eric Trump, one of the main MAGA influencers, Lara Trump, saying that the reason that President Biden is running for president is to avoid going to prison. I mean, it's all projection and confession. I mean, you have Donald Trump utilizing tens of millions of dollars every cycle right now of this campaign to pay for legal fees and experts just paid an expert nine hundred thousand dollars who did a horrible job on the stand but here you have laura trump saying that the reason that biden is running is to avoid going to prison really these it, it it would be laughable if the implications here for this family and the cult to destroy our nation wasn't so serious here play this clip it's very interesting interesting to hear Joe Biden say that I guess the only reason he's decided to run is because of Donald Trump. Well, is that because he thinks that Donald Trump might investigate his family even further? You know, you look at this situation.
situation with Hunter Biden, I think a lot of people might might draw some correlation there and say, well, maybe the only reason that Joe Biden is trying to hang on to power is because his family depends on him trying to continue the cover up that we know has happened for the Biden crime family. It's very interesting. This is nothing new. This is part of, of the politics that we see yes. here in the United States of America. Uh, I, but people know very well that Donald Trump is not a dictator, of course. Yes, and I thought the same thing when you see all these documents and the subpoenas and the bank records coming out. Maybe Joe Biden's running for another reason. That's to, to stay out of uh, trouble there legally. But I want a bit of a YouTube cleanser if you will, right now. I showed you all of those clips. I want to show you this clip right here of President Biden talking about infrastructure and how his predecessor always wanted to talk about infrastructure week. And now we are having an infrastructure decade. Whereas Trump was a failure, President Biden rolled up his sleeve. The pro-democracy community and Democrats are getting things done. Here, play this clip. Trump just talks the talk. We walk the walk. Look, he likes to say America's a failing nation. Frankly, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. I see shovels on the ground, cranes in the sky, people hard at work rebuilding America together. And there you have it, folks. I'm Ben Micellis. Hit subscribe. Check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch and have a great day. Hey, Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.